Establishing quality early is the key to a great cereal crop. Because during the course of the season, a lot of things can go wrong, like a serious infection of fusarium head blight. That, by the way, costs the Canadian agricultural industry up to $300 million each year. All the more reason to nip it in the bud fast. But managing FHB isn't limited to late season control. It's a full season job, from seeding to harvest. At seeding, fusarium can come from two places, infected seed or infected soil. Seed-borne fusarium doesn't lead to FHB in the same season, but it does bring seed and seedling diseases and steals your crop's emergence and vigor. This could mean substantial yield loss later on. And this isn't a one-time deal. The infected seed introduces fusarium or builds up inoculum in your soil, and that's going to last for years to come. And then there's soil-borne fusarium. It can be promiscuous, living off residues from more than one host crop. Now combine all that disease pressure with harsh spring conditions and you've got some stressed seedlings on your hands. So what's a grower to do? Take an integrated approach. Use clean seed and test for germination, vigor, and fusarium. Choose your variety based on fusarium resistance and your field's growing conditions. And use a seed treatment. It deals with diseases in the seed, on the seed, and in the soil, the whole nine yards. The result? greater germination, more consistent emergence, and increased seedling vigor. That means a healthier, more uniform crop that helps growers maximize inputs later on in the season. It's the first step to better quality cereals. Now that's a path worth taking. BASF, we create chemistry.